Bitcoin on the daily chart. We have a pullback over here. We're looking for some issue support. I'm looking at the history of this chart. Looking for other pullbacks or somewhere in dollar amount. Going to start to map out my submission support. Looking for that pivot high, pivot low, pivot high. One more time over here. Using that trend based pivot extension. Pivot high, pivot low, pivot high. And one more time over here. Pivot high, pivot low, pivot high. So we can see these three pullbacks are very similar to one another. And right now we're pulling back right around that same area. Now the next area we're going to look for is my hourly chart. We want to make sure there's strength coming back into this chart. Now we do have a higher low right here, but does it have enough strength to push above that 200 moving average on the hourly? That's the question. If it doesn't have enough strength, it's going to come up here, fail, it may have more downside correction. So this area could be a bust. So we want to be patient, wait until strength comes back into this chart with a series of higher highs and higher lows above that 200 moving average. Then think about adding to more of your Bitcoin position with a correct position sizing. Now, if you want to set your stop below this low, then that's how you know if it doesn't work in your favor, but for whatever reason, you go long, and then Bitcoin slices through. Does there a potential support? Just take your small loss and move on to another chart. If you'd like to learn how to find high probability setups using Fibonacci analysis, check out my course in the descriptions below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, subscribe now. Hit that notification button. We go over cryptocurrencies as well as US equities. Love to hear from you in the comments area, and I'll talk to you soon.